Hey, how we doing everybody? Farmer Jim here. I'm going back on the Elm Creek map. We're going to look at bees today. Beehives produce honey, which can be processed further or sold directly. Place beehives next to fields as bees will increase the yield of canola, sunflower, and potato fields. Honey will be delivered to freely placeable delivery area. Bees do not appear, appear in the animal menu. So what I'm interested in is the yield increase of the canola, sunflower, and the potato fields. Gotta go watch Farmer Jim. Play simulator. Gotta go watch Farmer Jim so I'll see you around. In this video, we'll be looking at the canola and sunflowers. So, I have a canola field over here. It's already ready to harvest. So, we're gonna, we're gonna harvest it without bees and see what the yield is. Then we're gonna come back and put bees there and harvest it, see what the yield difference is. Right now, I'm showing a canola ready to harvest, 98% yield bonus and it's fertilized at 100%. So we're going to go ahead and harvest this and see what we get out of it. Then we'll harvest it with bees and compare it. So with no bees, we get 4,651 yield liters canola. So that's without a bee behind. We'll copy that and paste it right over here. This time, we're going to build a beehive. See what the difference is. Right near somewhere. Where I'll go ahead and build it. We'll do the small one for now. We need a place to or the honey. Go ahead and put that right there. And we'll build one line straw hive. Go ahead and put this right here. Well, I don't want to put it too close to the field and delete any of the canola. Put it right there. And it's still saying only 
100% fertilized. It's ready to harvest. So we're going to go ahead and harvest, see if we get any more. Or the same, or what? That's 4658. That's pretty close. That could almost be uh, considered coincidence. But that's with uh, one length straw. I want to go ahead and do one more test. Be right back. Alright, that second test was with one length straw. And then only gave us seven more liters than the first one. Uh, for this one, I'm gonna go to. We gotta place our little place to collect our honey. Want to go with this one? Nineteen, uh, thirty-three Langstroths, nineteen thousand. I don't know how close it's got to be, or if there's a science to it, or if it reaches the whole field, or how that works, or if, it, or if it's per farm. It, it doesn't really state. It's kind of vague. We're going to test this here. This is 33 Langstroths. We're going to go ahead and harvest, see if it makes any difference at all. info first. Still says 98% yield bonus, 100% fertilized. That one's forty seven fifty seven. So it, it is a 
a little bit higher than the first one. It's a little bit higher than the one with the one line strong. We'll go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put these on a spreadsheet and put them towards the end of the video after we do our sunflower test. I'll see you in a little while. Hey, welcome back everybody. Now here we are in October. I got a small field of sunflowers over here, so I don't even know if it'll be big enough to tell the difference. Well, this is what we're going to do our test on. This field's uh, yield bonus 98%, fertilized at 100% sunflowers. So this will be our sunflower test. This is without the beehive. It, it's a small field, so they don't know what kind of yield we'll get out of it. Uh, out of that harvest, we got a thousand and eighty four liters. We're going to go ahead and copy and paste that right over here. And uh, we're going to come back to October 1st and do it again. All right. Now we're going to have to find, find a place to put this beehive. I'm thinking right back here. Put it down beside the piggies, I guess. I think that'll be close enough. It doesn't really say. No. We're going to go with the one lying straw. This will build our spot to collect it, the honey first. We'll put that right there. And we're going to go with the one lying straw. We'll put it right here. And this will be our one lying straw test. That's a thousand and ninety on the sunflower liters. So that's only six more liters than without the flame strong. We'll be right back. We're gonna try it with the thirty-three line strongs. Alright, let's go build our beehive. Thirty-three lying straws. Face it this way. I don't know that if that matters either. Okay, right, let's see if that makes any difference.
and that was 1,111 liters. Uh, as you add more length straws, it does increase. Uh, we'll, we'll take all these results over there on the right of the spreadsheet, and we'll figure out if there's an actual percentage or what kind of variable it is. Well, from the provided information on the increase in liters for Langstroth value and the corresponding percentages increases for canola and sunflower, we can draw the following conclusions. Canola, the increase in liters for one Langstroth is 7, representing a percentage of 0.15, oh, about 0.15 percent. Uh, the increase for 33 Langstroth is 106, representing a higher percentage, increase of over two and a quarter percent. The on the sunflowers, we had a much smaller field too. So the increase in liters for Langstroth is one. Uh, for one Langstroth is six, representing an increase of about half a percent. The increase in liters. For 33 Langstroth is 27, representing a higher percentage increase of almost 2.5%. So, for both canola and sunflower, the increase in liters is higher for 33 Langstroths compared to 1. The percentage increase is a measure of a relative growth, and it shows the growth is significant for. 33 Langstroth in both canola and sunflower. It appears that 33 Langstroth has a larger impact on the increase in liters for both canola and sunflower. As evidenced by both, absolute increase percentage and increase values. Now, is it worth building them near sunflowers or canola fields? Possibly, depending on the field size and uh, that's this is only with one Langstroth or 33 Langstroths. Uh, if you have more, uh, more tests would need need to be done. We'll uh, conduct our potato test another day when I have everything set up for it. Uh, do these results match your own? Did you do your uh, Did you do your test differently than I did? Let me know in the comments below. I'm quite sure there are different ways to go about these tests. As always, thanks for watching my video on yield increases for canola and sunflowers with Langstroth, Langstroth hives and without. If you found this video informative and helpful, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to activate that little bell so you know when I have another informative video for you. Thanks everyone. We'll see you next time.